Alright. So, hello, this is Colin Petty. Uh, I'm showing my final project. And I hope it is satisfactory. So, uh, the first thing that I've done is, uh, well, I guess I'll show you the epoch. Um, so, you can go ahead and look at this software here. Uh, the 16 sensor EEG on my head is mapping my facial expressions. So every time I blink, it records that. Uh, winking, uh, looking right and left, grinding my teeth, smiling, clenching my teeth, talking, all kinds of stuff like that. You can see it's actually recording it uh, pretty well. And then this is the effective suite. So this is all of my emotions. Engagement, boredom, frustration, meditation, instant, instantaneous excitement, and long-term excitement. And uh, the third part is the cognitive suite, where I can control this cube with my mind. So, hopefully, uh, if I think push... Alright, let me try it again. Okay, right now. Separate, push and pull. Push. <laughs> Hold on one second. I'll get it. There we go. There's push. Now I'm going to try and pull it. I'm going to pull it towards me. And that's all. Hopefully you can see my hands in that. I'm going to try and pull it again, just make sure you got my hands in it, and the uh, cube. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, I get it. There we go. Did you catch all of that? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm not touching anything, but I'm pulling it with my mind. Try and push it again. And I pushed it. Okay, that's what that does. Kind of cool, but let's get past it. So what I'm doing is I'm routing all of that information between the software development kit and the uh, middleware software, uh, Mind Your OSCs, connects to the headset monitors the data, exports it as OSC messages, and then I'm taking that into uh, the max window via UDP receive object, listening on the channel, and these are the streams of all of the various different parameters that I can tap and control. Once I have all of those parameters, then I bring them into max MSP. So as you might have been able to tell, I well, I've designed this elaborate synthesizer. This is just one layer of it, but I've routed my blinks to, um, in fact, let me uh, show you the blink. Um, I not only have the blinks, but I have them randomly set up, or with a random object, it's locked into the key of C. It's locked into the key of C. And uh, every time I blink, it'll play one of the notes. And if I raise my eyebrows, I can change the octave. Okay, so that's how I'm actually playing it, by blinking and raising my eyebrows in order to trigger notes of different kinds. But the... Uh, doesn't stop there. So I am taking my level of engagement and boredom and sending it to the uh, additive part of the synthesizer to randomly choose the, uh, the in between the waves and different wave combinations. On top of that, uh, I am using. Okay, I'm using. Uh, Frustration level, it will trigger the sample and hold function, which is these uh, levels right here of the synthesizer, which creates a, sometimes a, an arpeggiated type effect. Uh, clenching my teeth changes the, the modulation 
of the FM synthesis portion of the synthesizer, which is over here. So I'll try and blink and clench my teeth. So I've got kind of a modulation kind of wheel thing going on there. If I look to the right or the left, I change the preset. And it's set up to random through 16 presets. So you can you can see it up here as well. Um, so trying not to make this video too long. Um, Frustration, sample and hold, meditation affects the layers of music loops, which you're going to hear in a bit. Uh, the excitement changes the release time of the ADSR. So I've got that over here, and depending on my level of excitement, it will uh, modify the... Here we go. Yeah. Sorry, I keep... Okay. Oh, I see. It's set at max right now because evidently I'm a little bit nervous. Anyways, uh, beyond that, I have the my engagement level that sets the waveforms. Long-term excitement controls the wet-dry portion of the synth. So, right now it's kind of high, but you can see if I try to relax. Damn it. So obviously I'm a little bit nervous here, but uh... Anyways, that affects the wet dry. And uh, Blink plays notes, raising eyebrows, change octaves. Push speeds up the tempo and uh, pull slows down the tempo of the loops. But it also affects the, uh, the delay time, which is down here at the bottom, the, uh, the delay length here. I'll try and push with my mind. So if you blink while you're thinking push, it'll echo out. Okay, so that's pretty much the synthesizer. I'll send you the patch so you can look at it more in depth. <clears throat> but if you switch this button right here, because sometimes it starts the loops automatically because when I'm in a a mean tone level of relaxation, then it's just going to immediately start. So I'll turn the synth down a little bit. It does play along with the synthesizer because it's locked into the same key as the loops. But here goes. So this is medium to excited, not meditative at all. And everything is, uh, all of the loops are up. Everything's synced together and they will drop one at a time when I try to relax a little bit. Right now this is what they all sound like together and the push with my mind and the pull will affect the uh, pitch bend, the tempo. So while it's playing right now, I'm gonna try and do pull. I'm gonna try and slow it down with my mind. A good way for you to see that is to just listen and look at the cube. It's best to do this when you're relaxed and focused and not trying to uh, get a good grade, but uh... I'm, I hope you can hear that, so... 
Now what I'm going to do is, uh, beyond the different ways that uh, I can affect the way that the loops are playing back with my mind, I'm going to try and relax. Go ahead and see me and the screen. I'm going to try and relax. 